Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is December 5th, Saturday, and this is my first time actually um, recording myself since I've been diagnosed with COVID. So um, let me just kind of backtrack a little bit. I did have originally a video from a project that I completed that I was going to release. However, within the time frame that I was doing that video, I was experiencing a change in my breathing patterns. I wasn't feeling myself 100%. Um, I didn't actually look fully healthy as well. As they thought that possibly I was getting the flu or an upper respiratory infection, as that is one of the most common things that I get every year around this time. Uh, due to the change of season and everything, and since I do suffer from allergies, I honestly thought that's what I was experiencing. However, tested because I was exposed to someone that was COVID positive at my job, and let's be realistic, working in the medical field, you do run the risk. You know, you work in your position knowing that you run a 50% chance of getting it and a 50% chance of not getting it at all. And reality of the matter is, no matter how much I protected myself, I still got it. And that's something that we've come to understand and learn that it's a possibility working in the medical field. I know that, my employees know that, my employer knows that, and it is what it is. It's just something mandatory working in the medical field. You're prone to catching any type of infection that's out there, especially if you're around a uh, vast number of cases, you know, and in my job, we've been currently experiencing a high volume of positive cases with our patients. So uh, it was bound to happen, unfortunately, and, and thank God I got it. However, the type of COVID that I got is not the same strain that everyone is prone to seeing on TV or hearing about or even experiencing themselves. So to give you a little bit about it, my symptoms um, when I first knew that something was going wrong was because I had woken up with a really bad sore throat. Mm. I've constantly felt like I had something in the back of my throat. And that was on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. That Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, I started having a post-nasal drip. So for those of you that don't understand, it's basically instead of your nasal drippings running out where you constantly have to blow your nose, it's running in. So it runs from your nasal cavity down to straight the back of your throat, which is a post-nasal drip. And I kept experiencing that and I was like, okay, you know what? This is really common for an upper respiratory infection, especially for me. I started having pressure here on my face, headaches. So I was like, yep, this is definitely a URI. I'm just going to deal with it, take an antibiotic, and I'll be great. When Thanksgiving came around, I actually felt weaker than I normally do. I was feeling really, really weak. I had a drastic change in my breathing pattern to the point where I had to use my boyfriend's um, albuterol inhaler because I was having really, really bad shortness of breath. At the time, I thought that because I kept putting in my mind that something was wrong, I thought I was just experiencing an anxiety attack or a panic attack. That was not the case. So Thanksgiving came along, everything, I was just like, eh, I'm going to brush it off. It's nothing too serious. We went over to my mother-in-law's. Um, we had the whole dinner, the experience and everything. Of course, I kept my distance from everyone because I... Still in the back of my head was like, just in case, let me keep my distance from everyone, which I did. I was constantly keeping my distance from everyone at the reunion. When Friday came along, that's when it got really, really, really bad. I completely lost my sense of smell. I still had my sense of taste. However, my taste buds were completely thrown off. Everything to me tasted salty. And because it tasted salty, it burned like little holes in my tongue. It was horrible. It was the worst. I had horrible body aches. I, if I even moved a little bit, I felt like a bone in my body was about to break. And every time I did move, 
all my bones cracked. Like if I was just going like that, they would constantly crack and it was horrible because it wasn't like a relieving crack where it's like, oh yeah, that feels great. It feels amazing. No, it was a painful crack. It was just really bad. Um, Saturday came along. This was already two days after Thanksgiving. And on that day is when I got my actual test results. And it had come back that I was COVID positive, which explained everything that I was experiencing. Um, once I did get my results, I notified my employers. I notified my staff. I'm sorry, I notified my staff. Um, I sent out a huge broad text message to everybody, letting them know that I was COVID positive. Um, and if you guys were experiencing symptoms, to please don't go to work and so on and so forth. So I was already taking the precautions. And I completely isolated myself to one room in this house, which was my bedroom. Thank God my bedroom had its own bathroom. It was big enough for me not to feel so claustrophobic. But still being separated from everyone, it bothered. It, it bothered me a lot because I'm not used to it. I'm a very open person. I like going out, whether it's just to walk around Walmart, whatever it is. It was what I was used to. I don't like being in the house. I feel so closed off and it, it bothered me. So the fact that I had to be quarantined for all these days is still bothering me because I am only secluded to certain rooms in this house as I don't, I still don't want to expose myself to anybody. So I'm currently now, um, it is Saturday of the following week. Um, I'm not experiencing any symptoms anymore. However, I'm sorry, I am experiencing only one, which is still my loss of smell. I don't have my sense of smell back at all. Anything I try to smell, which I test myself every day on strong chemicals, perfumes, body sprays, you know, things like that. I still cannot smell nothing at all. My taste buds have begun to normalize, which is a great thing. And little by little, I'm starting to get my appetite back. I'm not feeling so tired. I don't have a loss of interest in things. As you can see me, I decided to finally make my video. I know this is late. Um, I know I've been promising you guys a video for such a long time, but this is my life. And I've always promised and sworn up and down that no matter what, I'll always be honest. No matter how weird it is, it, um, no matter how it looks, this is my life and I'm not going to hide anything from anyone. I've always said that my life is an open book. Ask me a question and I will gladly answer you. Whether you like it or not, that's really not my problem. But I will always be honest. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell, you know, everyone that subscribed to my channel, my family members, friends, or even if you're just tuning in now, um, I just wanted to say that I am okay. It's not as bad. As I thought it was gonna be yeah I did feel like I had flu like symptoms for a while and it did kind of knock me out my ass on my ass for a while but I got through it you know my boyfriend was constantly taking care of me I was taking antibiotics drinking uh, fruit smoothies that my boyfriend was getting me so I can maintain all the necessary vitamins in my body and he was just keeping me a beat which is one thing I gladly appreciate the most um he didn't put me down he didn't make me feel bad for getting sick he just told me hey you know it is what it is we'll get through it I'm not leaving your side and that's exactly what he did he did not leave my side at all and I'm so so appreciative and grateful for that but yeah that's that's currently what I've been going through and I just wanted to put my story out there you know it, it's different to what you hear on the tv as the media loves to only blast the worst things on there but i kept my faith i kept my positivity up and with my my boyfriend constantly being there for me you know especially my family members also that knew that i was sick them being there for me constantly calling me texting me making sure that i'm perfectly fine I'm so loving and so grateful for you guys. Thank you for showing me, showing me so much love. And um, that's what I wanted to share with you. So I will be completing the video from the project that I did. 
Um, and then once that is done, I will post it up more than likely right after this video. But I just wanted to say that I still till now, I'm still COVID positive. Um, tomorrow I get tested to see whether I still have the virus in me or not. And if it does come back positive, then I have to quarantine for another five to seven days. And if I'm negative, awesome, great. I get to finally go back to work probably for like two weeks. And then after that, I'm back on vacation as my son will be here on the 18th. So I just wanted to come out here, you know, share my story, let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm doing better. Yes. And I will be back on here soon doing more videos. But for now, this is just my story. So thanks for subscribing. If you have any comments, um, anything in regards to what I'm going through, please leave it down in the comments below. Um, if you like my content, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thank you. This is Vibing with Misha. Mwah. Love you guys so much. Thanks for the love and support.